Hello painters, it's Debbie from acrylicpouring.com back today for a little bit of pouring fun. So you can see that I have my husband's tablet here and I've been looking for inspiration. So on my Pinterest boards I have one, a board called Colour Schemes and I've been thinking for a while now of trying again with a peacock pour. So I've picked this colour scheme from um, something that I've saved on Pinterest and tried to match it as best I can to the colours. So this first one is a metallic gold and oh what happened there? <laughs> There we go. First one, the metallic gold. I must remember not to put my fingers on it. And I've matched that to my usual art alternatives gold. Then we've got this kind of plum colour here. And for that one, I'm using the uh, Faux Cart Colour Shift paints in Purple Flash because it's going to be nice and kind of shimmery and iridescent. Then this one is a cobalt blue and I've got my standard cobalt blue for that one. Then we've got this green. The green I struggled with. I wanted something that was kind of metallic-y and the closest I could get to it was this one. So it's kind of darker. You can see compared to the one on the screen. It's a little bit darker but it's as close as I could get here locally and still get something that was green and metallic. And then lastly this metallic, this um, kind of turquoisey colour and this one is Peacock Pearl. This is a, another Deco Art Metallics. So I've got plenty of metallics and shiny shimmery things in there as well as some gold and a regular blue and I'm going to try and make um, a flip cup using these peacock colours. Let's put that out the way so it doesn't get covered in paint. And what I would like to do, ideally, is do a negative space so that basically I'm going to have white here and then here the um, the peacock colours will fan out, you know, it's theory, that's what I'm hoping, or fan out like this into like a peacock tail shape, but who knows. Okay, so I think the first thing I need to do is make my dirty pour cup. So all of my paints are mixed um, about one part Floetrol to two parts paint plus water is necessary and all of the colours have got just one drop of the treadmill belt silicon that's this one so I've got the treadmill belt silicon just one drop in each colour and around 50% floetrol compared to the amount of paint so I'm just going to start layering them up and I want to try and do it a little bit carefully today so that I don't mix the colours too much because I don't know what will happen if I mix these together so I will try and put them in here, not from a great, oh this one, now this gold was a bit, was pre-mixed, I think maybe it's a little thick, it's left over from a previous project, so just add a little bit of water in there, I think it'll be fine, just so it's going to pour out into the cup, okay. Let's go with a little bit of gold, carefully layer that one on the top of the white. So with all of these metallics and shimmery paints in here, I'm not sure how it'll come out. Um, they do tend to layer up a bit funny sometimes, the metallics, because they are they can be heavy because of the metallic elements in them. So far, everything is staying where I'm putting it on the top, which is good. Last little bit of white on top and then what I'm going to do I think is pop it on the canvas instead of somewhere in the middle somewhere about here and then I'll fill in a little bit of white around this area so let's flip a little bit off centre and while I wait for all those colours to come down I'm just going to add in a bit of white oh no that's the wrong white I didn't mean to use that one this white's got silicon in it so when I spread it about it goes all funny and silly excels so I'm gonna just try and scrape that back off because I'd actually made another white which doesn't have any silicon in and I wanted to use that one instead so that's a mistake because these the these paints sometimes you know they just sell on their own especially this white it's just white flow troll um, 
some water and a you know a minimal amount of silicone but when I put it on the canvas and spread it about it actually just sells up on its own and I didn't want it to do that I want it to be a nice um, smooth surface hopefully so I have a white here we are it doesn't have any silicone in it I'm hoping that one will do better so I'm just going to pour a little bit there and as I'm spreading about that will as I'm tipping about that will come and spread over my canvas I'll give it a little start it's probably way too much better too much than not enough and of course it's all gonna dribble off and cover my sides too let's see yeah, I can probably get rid of a bit more there we go let's see how it goes so all of the paints in my cup they will have dribbled down by now so let me clear my surface off a little bit and we will get ready to lift up this cup and see if these peacock colours are looking particularly peacocky. Let's take a look. Hmm, it doesn't look very peacocky. Maybe it will once I've spread it out a little bit. It looks a bit light. I've probably got too much white in there. I'm going to try and save a little bit of this as I move it about. It's so nice. Try and save a bit back in the cup and I can pour that for something else. Oh, now that's looking better. That's more what I was looking for. Now that I've um, stretched it out a little bit, that does look better. So I'm going to just leave that to do its thing just for a little bit while I spread out some of this white and consider if I like this or not, or whether I want to make any other changes. White without the silicone is better. Okay, I think I've got the kind of look that I was going for. It is a bit lighter. I should have probably put not quite so much white, and it probably could do, you know, this, this purple. Um, it had equal amounts of purple as the other colours, but I think the purple, maybe you should have had a little bit more. So let's see, I'm going to tip it a little bit more, see what I get. Oh, I don't know, I think it looks good as it was. I think if I tip it back, the purple in the centre there will become a bit more prominent and I can get rid of a bit more of the green. That looks a bit more pleasing. And these edges here, these are really nice. This is very much the kind of peacocky look that I was going for. And I think, you know, it's, it does look a little bit like feathers. Yeah, I'm happy. So let me bring you down and we'll take a look. So I'll be interested to know what you think. I always love to receive your comments on my channel. So please tell me, know, um, you know, let me know, uh, did I pick the right colours? What would you have done? Um, do you think I should have used the right colours but in a different proportion? Maybe more of one colour, less of another. Did I make a mistake by putting white in the flip cup? Maybe I shouldn't have done that at all. Of course, this has got the colour shift paints and it's got all the metallics and it's got the gold and they all tend to look just that little bit more dull, you know, when the painting is wet because they are mixed with the Floetrol. But I think when it's dry, it's going to look pretty nice. At least I hope so. This is my little favourite section over here. I think that looks really cool. But overall, I'm very much liking the look and it definitely is the kind of style that I was looking for. So I'm going to dry it, varnish it, and I'll show you what it looks like when it's finished. So here it is finished. It's glossed, varnished, ready to go into my Etsy shop and off to a new home soon one day. Uh, the colours are still good. The metallics are lovely. The gold especially is really, really nice. And the way it's feathered out into the white around the edges, it does look really nice. But of course, I wish someone had told me that I was getting the blue and just leaving it right there. So it does look good, but I think with the blue it would have looked even better and uh, I think maybe it's time for me to do this one again I think sometime and perhaps remember to put that blue in there. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you'll give it a go also with the peacock colours and look forward to seeing you at acrylicpouring.com very soon.